I don't pay no mind to those that don't matter. I'm a big me. <laughs> hey, what up, everyone? I'm Ikis, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I usually don't do these kinds of videos where I unbox things, but I figure I do it for this one. I just got a new bag from Fashion File. I'll go ahead and unbox it, and then we can do like a mini like review on it. So let's get into it. Oh, cool. Comes with a little letter. So this is basically the receipt. This certifies that the bag is authentic. Oda, what is this? Oh, it's a nail filer. <laughs> okay. Here is the fashion file dust bag. And here it is, guys. This is the small MCM backpack in the cognac color. And it has these like studs on the side. If you know MCM, they're known for their backpacks, so. And oh cool, they covered the um the plate. And wow, this is it feels very nice. I like the canvas on this. Nice and sturdy. You have to keep this tag on if you're unsure about the bag. Otherwise, you can return it to them with the tag still on. Okay, that's good. Nice and smooth zipper. All right, guys, so hopefully you have a good view. Here is the backpack. I've been using it for about a week or so. This is the MCM Vesetos Small Stark Side Stud Backpack. Uh, I know the name is very long, um, but it's a combination of what Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom's, and the MCM website titles this backpack. What I found out about this backpack is the front of the canvas here, as far as the monogram. The logo is upright, and towards the left is also upright, and then it goes upside down. Towards the right side of the middle, it goes upright, then upside down, upside down. I'm not sure if that's a way to uh, authenticate, but that is what I found out. So in this front pocket here, it has um, the canvas continued, and then it has this Nappa lining here. Nappa lining, it's like faux leather. It's very soft. It does have leather trimming, and here's the back. The adjustable straps have fabric um, down here, and gold hardware. There's a hardware here as well. Um, and then there's leather trimming with the canvas in the middle. The side pockets also have the Napa lining inside. The zipper pulls are also leather. The cool thing about the plate in the front, um, and mind you, I still have that little protection sheet that's over it. I don't, I don't feel like pulling it out just yet. <laughs> the unique code that's in the front is specific to each bag. So each bag will have their own code. And the plate here should have all of the screws kind of pointing to the laurel in the middle. So as you see it here, how it's like all pointing. And they're unscrewable, they're removable as well. So let's see if that's true. Oh, it is true. So we can unscrew it. That's awesome. There we go. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how I actually pack it. Cause I've been using the backpack for work. Uh, I recently used my Speedy, so everything that was in there was here. So now I'm gonna transfer it back. I also wanted to show you folks this backpack organizer that I found on Amazon. I'll leave the link to this in the description below. Um, it is a perfect size for the small backpack. I was kind of debating on whether I needed this because the inside already has a couple pockets. But this one, um, you can definitely be a little bit more organized. It does have two cup holders or bottle holders in here, but I folded one inwards just so I have a little bit more room for the stuff that I have. In the back here, there is no other pockets, which would have been useful if there was. This organizer has too much pockets. Um, but it's probably just the things that I carry are too bulky. Well, let me show you the inside first. The zippers are awesome, by the way. 
So inside it does have the black Nappa lining as well. Um, it has this little the embossed area here. Obviously that's where the plate is. <laughs> and then back here, there is two document pockets. Online they call it uh, tablet pockets. So there's this pocket here and a shorter pocket there in front. Same depth, um, it goes down deep the same depth. And then there is a fabric tag right in here. It has the MCM logo and the laurel. The fabric tag says that it is made in Korea, which makes sense. All right, guys, I'm gonna try on the backpack. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the organizer inside of the backpack. So it folds like this. There you go. Now in the backpack here, I still utilize the back pocket with my iPad. So this is an iPad mini and it fits perfectly inside of this backpack. So I wanted to insert this clip. This is a regular size iPad. Um, it's one of the older versions because it still has a button, but it does fit in this backpack. It fits in the back pocket and the front pocket. And you're able to zip it closed. I also wanted to show you that this regular size iPad does fit in the organizer. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring stuff out from the Speedy. So let's start with the front pocket here. This is my AirPods and it currently has a cool little jacket. Um, it's a Gucci canvas. Uh, I'll put the, this, the link to this in the description box. Along with some gum. And this is the Louis Vuitton coin pouch. In here, I just carry uh, like cables and stuff. The uh, stock headphones from the iPhone, my charger, um, things like that. Also got some tissues. All right, now for the main compartment. There is two pockets in front of this organizer. There I would put my Louis Vuitton key pouch. In here is just my grandma's rosary and also a Mophie um, portable battery charger. And here I have some wipes. I don't normally reach for them all the time, but it's actually good to have on hand. So I'm gonna put it in the little uh, pocket in the back of the organizer. There you go. I have this um, Louis Vuitton mini pochette and Damir Ibn. And in here is just like simple essentials, lotion, cologne, um, eyeglass cleaner, stuff like that. Just things that I don't like rolling around on the bottom. I have a Gucci wallet. This holds just like extra credentials. It has three card slots in there. I'm not a fan of continental wallets, so I carry this just to carry the extra essentials. So that will be like right there on the side. Because I'm going to work, I have a this leather pencil case, Safiano leather from Michael Kors. And it just carries like my work, my preferred work pens. And this will just stand up right, right there. And then I have my shades I believe this is kind of like the Nappa lining inside of the backpack. Um, I got this from Amazon, but my shades are from zenioptical.com. They are prescription shades. And this I will put in the little uh, bottle holder there, just like so. And then there's these two pockets up there, which I prefer to put this Damier Azure key pouch and in here is just my main credentials. 
main credit cards, stuff like that, um, that I need to carry with me every day. And then I have my work keys. Honestly, my work keys, I just throw it on top like this. So there you see my backpack looks pretty full. And as you see, there's still a lot of room to fill up on the top. Um, however, I don't like to overpack like that, especially with the uh, everyday sized bag. Um, I do have my Louis Vuitton PM agenda in here, but I don't normally travel with it. But if I was to bring it in here, I just leave it on top like that. I know that's a little ridiculous, but um, because I utilize most of the space. So that's pretty much how I pack it. And oh, this charm here is from Coach. This is that Coach Disney line that came out, um, I think it was last year. And it's in that black metallic leather of Mickey Mouse. So yeah, that's about it as far as how I pack it. I do have matching straps that I got from a strapsmith in Northern California. Um, this is in that cognac canvas color as well from MCM. This is not an official MCM product. It's unofficial because it is cut up from a pre-owned bag. If you're interested in something like this, I'm going to leave the uh, seller info in the description box below as well. But that's pretty much how I pack it. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy.